All right, everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So I have here a bottle with some water in it. To this, I'm gonna add some 91% isopropyl alcohol. I'm gonna be demonstrating molecular packing, and so I will show you the volume of the liquid before and after mixing it. This is a common demonstration that I've seen in my chemistry class, but I wanna try doing it with the lid on the bottle. Now that I have the lid on, I'm gonna slowly turn it over to show you that there is no air bubbles currently in the bottle. If you look closely, you can see the alcohol is floating on top of the water. Despite its higher molecular weight, isopropanol is less dense than water. Now watch as I give the bottle a good shake and mix the two fluids. As you can see, a large bubble forms. And the funny thing about this bubble is it's not an air bubble, it's actually a vacuum. There's nothing there. And if this bottle was a metal drum, it would have actually crushed it. My hypothesis as to why this happens is that the alcohol molecules, which are large, have spaces in between them that the smaller water molecules can fill. And sugar molecules are about the same size as the alcohol molecules, so let's go ahead and try this with honey. As you can see, I've added some hot water on top of some honey, and that there's no bubbles in the jar. Give this a good shake to dissolve the honey into the hot water, and let's see what happens. You can see that there's some bubbles already forming, indicating that uh, some space has been removed. And as you can see after shaking it for some time, that it actually does form a nice big bubble. Sugar doesn't really react with water, and it didn't generate any extra space. Basically, I've just consolidated the spaces that were already there. Spaces that were too small for air to get into. But now when I open the lid, air is able to go into this larger void. And as you can see, the foam gets squished by the sudden increase of pressure. Now I'm gonna show this on a more macroscopic scale with some hazelnuts and rice. Give these a good shake to mix them well. And now you can see the volume is significantly reduced as the rice filled the spaces between the hazelnuts. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time.